So I'm working on a, a European uh, FP7 uh, project called Sion Chip. And so the main aim is to produce an, an autonomous uh, system that will be a boy-shaped uh, device with microfluidics, the biosensors, uh, all including the electronics that will be placed within the sea uh, for offshore sea uh, fish farms. So basically within our work package we're having to produce a biosensor and so in this instance we want to produce a biosensor with eight different working electrodes. So we have it all on the same device that has been produced by the CNM in Barcelona and we make a passivation, the connection by wire bonding and afterwards on each of the different working electrodes, so we have eight and the reference electrode either side and a counter, we'll have uh, eight different uh, coating antigens specific for a different type of uh, compound that is within the sea uh, due to the marine life environmental uh, problems. So the main concept and the goal of what we want to do is to have the seawater which will come within the incubation chamber. Uh, from the incubation chamber we will have uh, a magnetic coil here and we'll have na magnetic nanoparticles which will have uh, antibodies that are already uh, immobilized and these will be specific for the analyte of interest. So from here this will be released from the incubation chamber to the dissection chamber which will consist of the uh, sensors. So the main aim of what we want to produce and try to see is that we'll have the coating antigen immobilized on the surface if we have a negative detection, it means the antibody will bind to the antigen. However, if we have the analyte, we will have uh, no biorecognition between the antibody and the antigen, and therefore this will mean that the, um, the impedance result will be the same, the resistance value. So from these initial experiments, we're using uh, disonium, which is a salt, in order to uh, functionalize the surface for the immobilization of the coating antigen. And from here, we have a competitive assay of the antibody and the analyte. So in this instance, it's sulfur pyridine. And so for the experiments, we've made the first part is to optimize the concentration of the coating antigen. So we looked at four different concentrations from 10, uh, 25, 50, and 100 micrograms per milliliter. We then analyzed with different concentrations of the uh, antibody, which are increasing to observe the shift of the Nyquist plot for the resistance. And then we made a normalization of the data. And at the present moment, we've seen in red that the 25 micrograms per milliliter of the coating antigen was the uh, optimized condition. We then move on to the last part, which is the uh, competitive assay. So this is with the coating antigen versus the antibody and the sulfapyridine. And so at the moment, we again see the resistance value of the coating antigen followed by the competitive assay. And we see an increase, an augmentation of the uh, Nyquist plot. Uh, and from the normalized data, we can see the linearity for the uh, detection of uh, the antibody with, which is fixed compared to a decrease of the um, sulfapyridine concentration. And so finally, this is... Um, uh, the preliminary work for the Sea on Chip project.